What is popping, Funko fans? I'm Robbie Dilts, you are you, and you're watching a brand new episode of Funko Pop Weekly. And I know I said that I would be doing an episode a week, but I thought to do something special for today's episode because I just got the San Diego Comic Con exclusive pop vinyls. I got about three of them, so I'll show them off in this episode. As well as a pop I picked up yesterday from EB Games and something else I picked up at my local mall that isn't really Funko related but it's pretty cool so I thought I'd show it off. So let's get started. Alright, so the first thing I thought I would show off to you is a book that I picked up at Kohl's yesterday at my local mall, and uh, I thought I'd get back into reading, and I just finished uh, the other day, for the second time through, the Netflix series 13 Reasons Why, and so the book that I got is 13 Reasons Why by Jay Asher, and uh, I'm already like basically four pages in. Um, it's kind of like the prologue before I get into the actual starting of it, so... Yeah, it's pretty cool. I, uh, am really glad I picked it up because I kind of wanted to start getting into reading again. And, uh, I really like the series 13 Reasons Why, despite, you know, some of the backlash it had or some of the gruesome scenes in it, but... In reality, that's what people go through every single day, and it's not right. And everyone needs somebody to talk to when there's something going on in their life. So, be that person. Be someone to be an ear, to listen to people that are going through things and that need help. 13 Reasons Why is a series that makes people aware of some of the bad stuff that goes on in people's lives and it really sucks but that's the reality of it is that people go through those kind of things and not a lot of people listen or not a lot of people like to talk about it right away but they build it up inside and it just really really sucks so I picked up 13 reasons why to read it and apparently my friend Dylan Koros who is a host of a Funko podcast uh, he told me kind of a little spoiler but not really is that Hannah's death is different in the book compared to the actual uh, Netflix series so I'm kind of interested to see what happens there as well as some of the tapes are in a different order so what you'll see on the Netflix series won't be the same in the book obviously so yeah I'm kind of interested to see what happens alright enough about the book now I'm gonna show you guys which pop vinyl figure I picked up yesterday while I was at EB games I'm so excited that I found it and picked it up those of you that saw on my Instagram for those of you that followed me know which pop vinyl figure it is but I am very pumped and I'm hyped about it and I put it in a pop protector case because I just had to buy one with it so it is number 19 in the Pop MLB line, and it is the Blue Jays mascot Ace. There you can see without the glare, kind of a view at him. There's the side view. Looks pretty cool. Um, so yeah, there's a side, a little bit of a side art there. Um, and then typical baseball background kind of thing going on, but I like it. And then there's obviously the Ace. Um, and then on top of the box, um, and on the back of the box, obviously, you know, um, we have all the different pop mascots, or the MLB mascots, I should say. Um, let's see if I can read them off for you here. We got, uh, Bernie Brewer, Billy the Marlin, Orioles mascot, Paws, Athletics mascot, Slugger, with three R's, TC Bear, Theodore Roosevelt, Swinging Friar, Pirate Parrot, White Sox mascot, the Blue Jays mascot, which is this one obviously, and the Rangers captain. Um, so there you can see there. Um, but yeah, so 
Bernie Brewer, obviously from the Milwaukee Brewers. Billy the Marlin from the Miami Marlins. Orioles mascot, pretty self-explanatory. Paws is from the Detroit Tigers. Um, athletics mascot, obviously Oakland Athletics. Slugger is from the Kansas City Royals. Uh, TC Bear from the Minnesota Twins. Theodore Roosevelt from the Washington Nationals. Swinging Friar from the San Diego Padres. White Sox mascot, obviously, Chicago White Sox. Um, and Rangers captain is from the Texas Rangers. Um, now that I'm looking at the box a bit more today, I do see a little bit of um, little things, little dings on the box, obviously. Um, however, I had to pick it up. It was the only Blue Jays mascot they had there. I don't know if they had any other in stock before, but I just had to pick this one up, so I will um, set that there for now. And, uh, you know what, no, I'll just move it off to the side. Alright, so now the three San Diego Comic-Con shared exclusive pop vinyl figures that my friend Dylan from A Funko Popcast picked up for me at Hot Topic on Thursday. And, uh, I really want to say thank you again to Dylan for that. Um, I'll get right into the first one he picked up for me. I just had to get my hands on this one obviously i love chrome pops there's some sort of reason as to why i think they just look so cool um but yeah so this is number 154 in the pop animation line and it is the red chrome super saiyan vegeta as you can see there and there to the side a little bit um and then there's the side art now, obviously, my buddy Dylan, uh, he actually showed off my pop vinyl figures in his recent video that he did. So if you want to check that out, I will link the video, or I will post the link to the video in my description below. Um, but yeah, so as you can see, this like pose here, he has this like hand sticking out kind of, which is pretty cool. And uh, I'm not a big fan of Dragon Ball Z, uh, but I really just, you know, wanted to get my hands on a chrome pop. And uh, when I seen that this one was announced, I had to pick it up, or at least Dylan picked it up for me. Unfortunately, um, when I went to EB Games last night, I didn't see any Teal Chrome Batmans. And when I talked to the guy at the cash register, he said that they pr went pretty fast. So uh, that's kind of self-explanatory as it is. Um, but, as you can see here, yeah, the side of the box looks pretty cool. Um, on the back, you've got all the different characters that are in the uh, this wave of Dragon Ball Z. So we have Gohan. Um, and I'll just read it like this, hopefully. Uh, I'm probably going to botch some of these names. So there's Trunks, it looks like. Uh, Krillin. Um, Majin Buu. And the Super Saiyan Vegeta, the normal one, looks like, right there. So, yeah, obviously we went... Um, for me, it would have been left to right. Um, so, there's the back of the box. And, uh, yeah, Super Saiyan, Vegeta, Red Chrome, pretty cool. Um, normally, I don't like to take my pops out of the box, but I will mention something uh, probably with the next pop that I show off. So... I'll get right on to the next one. Alright, so the next pop that my buddy Dylan picked up for me was number 84 in the Harry Potter line, and that is the Flocked Fox, the Phoenix. And this is just a beautiful pop, and as you can see, the kind of like the flames down there, and uh, the side of the box, and side art looks pretty cool too. And uh, on the back, we have um, Ron Weasley, Sirius Black in like dog form or like the wolf form. And uh, this is the Bloody Baron, I'm pretty sure. Uh, yep. Then we have Dobby, Hedwig, Hermione Granger is like the cat. We got Rubius Hagrid and Harry Potter in what looks to me like a night time attire, basically. Um, 
Now with this pop, Dylan took it out of the box just because he wanted to basically kind of look at it up close and everything. I do not like my pops taken out of boxes, but however I will make an exception obviously because he just really wanted to show it off, so that's the only exception. Um, this is a really great pop, I really love it, and I had to get my hands on it as soon as they announced it. I'm just like, you know what, yep, Fox the Phoenix. Um, this is my first flocked pop vinyl figure, so pretty exciting for me. And uh, the Super Saiyan Vegeta, the red chrome one, was my first chrome pop, so that's pretty cool. Um, but yeah, I really love this Fox the Phoenix. All my other Harry Potter Pops are in my aunt's bedroom, but this one is staying in my room even though she says, nope, it's not going to stay in there very long, but it will because I will make sure of it. <laughs> so, yes, Fox the Phoenix, a pretty cool pop. Alright guys, and the last pop vinyl figure that Dylan picked up for me on Thursday from Hot Topic is number 562 in the Toy Story line, and that is Mr. Prickle Pants, and I am really excited to have this pop in my collection now. And there you can see the front, and the side, and the other side, white background, and the red and yellow Toy Story colors for the font and everything, pretty cool. Um, probably can't notice it, but like this corner of the box is pushed up a little bit because the plastic uh, was pushing up on it and we tried to fix it yesterday, uh, but to no avail. So I'm just leaving it the way it is. I'm not really bothering with it. And again, I'm really happy to have this pop in my collection as well as the other two that Dylan picked up for me. And I want to thank him again for picking these ones up and... Other than that, like I mentioned back on Monday, I obviously want to try and go to at least one video per week, but this obviously is a special video just because I wanted to share with you guys what San Diego Comic Con exclusive shared pops that I got. So everyone else is doing it. I decided to jump onto the, I guess, bandwagon as you call it, and I'm just really happy to have these pops in my collection as well as obviously the Blue Jays mascot pop that I picked up yesterday. If you guys like this video, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Do all that, but this has been another episode of Funko Pop Weekly. Until next time, guys, peace in, peace out, as MD Shady would say from a Funko Popcast. Have a good one, guys.